Harrington, when you've kind of filled in um, for Allison last year when she got hurt, what's the biggest thing you've learned about that's kind of helped you this year? The biggest thing I learned from last year to this year is just trusting in my teammates. Um, I think it was a really big role to fill and them just being there for me, knowing that I could talk to them, knowing that I could trust them on and off the court really helped to adjust so that I could do it again this year. Is there something different you look for in a scrimmage against you know, your guys' self and a, a red black one versus a scrimmage against another school? Um, I feel like we've been playing each other for so long that the scrimmage against like ourselves is fun and it's like super competitive still, but just getting that like experience from people who we haven't played and just playing against different personnel, um, that's what we really need to like get ready for conference. With Brooke not able to play uh, against New Mexico State, who kind of stepped in and who kind of stepped up and did that kind of show the depth you have this year? Um, definitely uh, our freshman, Caitlin Dugan. Um, she stepped up and kind of filled in Brooke's role and did. I think she played really well. Um, it was like her first game, so that showed that even our freshmen are really good and they're able to step up and work. How have you kind of seen her kind of take those small steps as you did kind of last year, kind of getting yourself into the rotation a little bit? Um, she just does a really good job of listening to the coaches. She's super coachable. Uh, she works hard, and so that's really all you have to do. What were some of the learning lessons y'all took from the scrimmage? Definitely working on – oh, wait. I got nervous. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. Okay. Learning lessons we took from the scrimmage were just to work together, to get ready for conference, um, trying different lineups to see what worked the best. And I know you kind of mentioned having fun when you play each other. I guess what are you looking forward to with the red and black scrimmage? The red and black scrimmage, just the, oh. 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 <laughs> the red and black scrimmage, we're just excited to play in front of our families and our friends and just showcase what we've been working on. We kind of know each other, so it'll be super competitive. So last year, with you kind of getting thrown into the fire a little bit when it comes to a prominent role, uh, this year, what role are you trying to fill on this team? I don't really know if it's filling a role, but really just like making a name for myself and being able to help my teammates as much as I can. Um, so not really filling a role, but just like making one for myself. And then for y'all, non-conference hasn't been an issue winning at least. Mm -hmm. It's continuing and carrying that into conference play. For you, what do you see as the key to having that complete season? I feel like the key is just not being afraid of our own success. Like we always get there. We know we have a great team and we know what we can do. So I think just producing it every day, making sure that when we get on the court, we show what we can do and we don't have like a drop off. It's kind of taking a more prominent role this year. I guess what, what are some of the things you're kind of taking into this season to kind of show that you're kind of a leader now at that position at the center? Well, um, I've been focusing a lot on my voice recently, and I think I just need to be more confident in that because I know, like, I'm good enough to play. Like, the coaches have definitely put a lot of trust in me, but I think now I just need to find the confidence in myself and, like, use my voice because I know my teammates have my back. You know, Coach talks about speed and passing. I guess how have you all improved that and gotten a little bit faster with the offense this year? Yeah, the spring was definitely a lot of focus on the speed of the offense. And I think now that the freshmen are here, like we have all our team here, we're just like trying to lock it in and get all, all the connections set for playing. I know I asked Carrington, but I guess just what is uh, uh, Ashley uh, Dugan? Kaylin Dugan. Kaylin Dugan, I'm sorry. Uh, what has Caitlin kind of shown going into this year, kind of like what Brooke had last year and then kind of Carrington this last year kind of going in and starting? Um, what Dugan's really surprising with is, like, how well she composes herself. You know, even on Sunday, I was nervous to play, but I looked at her and she wasn't nervous at all. Like, maybe she was, but she wasn't showing it. And so I think that confidence of being a freshman and, like, having a big role already, like, just the way she composes herself just really is just impressing me. I guess what's the depth like there and what's it like to know that you can kind of set it up and they can kind of slam it down for you this year? Oh, yeah, it's nice because whenever we wave in between drills, like I look at my pins and I'm never disappointed. You know, I know I can look at both of them and set them a ball and I know they're going to put it down. So, Is there anything the coaching staff does to make these scrimmages, especially a red-black one, feel more like a real game, you know, with a, a sense of urgency and just something's on the line and make it feel like it's not just a scrimmage against, you know, your own teammates? Um... 
but we still have like a game plan like we'll have a coach like we'll definitely have like a game plan focused on like the other team and it's not just going to be like oh we're just in practice because then there's going to be like a, a a scoreboard so like we're all so competitive so like we always want to win so it's just going to the competitive atmosphere is going to be the same as it would as if it was another team against the across the net sorry for you how big is having missy still around the program to kind of lean on and get advice from well definitely in the spring um she would help me a lot she, i would I don't know if I was looking a little shaky, like she would definitely just calm me down and like, cause she knew exactly how I was feeling cause she had been in that position like a month prior, but she definitely like helped me gain my confidence and just like what to do in different situations and stuff. Um, for us, I guess from the outside, it just looks like, oh, you all you do, like you run the offense, but we see, okay, she sets it to this person, she sets it to this person. For you, how much do you kind of have to learn? Okay, this is what this person's tendency is. This is what this person's tendency is and kind of mold your game around that um I would definitely be like I would definitely look at my personnel to know who to set at different situations because some people will step up better in, diff in uh, bigger situations but I would say like definitely focusing on the other side too like with the block to know like where the middle is gonna cheat over like trying to separate one side or like um, put a lot of hitters on this side and like try to open up a pin or something so I guess it's just like focusing a lot on the on the block of the other side too. Still having Missy around with the program, how impactful and helpful have you seen that be for someone like Alex who's trying to find her identity in yeah. this offense? Well, in the spring it was a lot. You know, she was our volunteer assistant coach in the spring, and so she was able to do a lot more. Now she's transitioned roles, and, and Missy's a post grad intern, so she's a non coaching role for us. So it's, it's difficult for her to give a lot of feedback, but just having her presence, it, it definitely is a calming effect on someone like Alex. And, you know, they were teammates for a year. Alex really studied her and, and knew what her game was like. And, you know, and she's, she's grown a lot from just being in that same gym with her. So have you seen Caitlin kind of just kind of step in and really kind of accept the, the, the spotlight, kind of like what Brooke did a couple of years ago. Yeah, they're pretty similar in that regard. You know, Dugan has come in, and, and we knew she could play. That was not a surprise for us. And, you know, I think as a coaching staff, we kind of could see a pretty big role waiting for her. And, uh, and she hadn't disappointed. You know, she can block like uh, nobody else on our team and can play both pins, and her ball control is going to come along pretty quick. So, you know, there's the sky's the limit for that player, and, you know, we're, we're thrilled to have her. How has Carrington kind of found a little niche with her role, especially mm -hmm. the way that she kind of stepped in with uh, the injuries last year? Yeah, that was nice. You know, in hindsight, you look at it and say that was the best thing for her development to get thrown in there and, and show what she could do. And, you know, KJ is super athletic and, and she's coachable and she wants to be good and uh, she plays with a conscience, you know. So she's got all the things that, that we're looking for. Uh, but I think just as a player, it's nice to have someone like her to, to fill a role that Katie Keenan had left because. KJ can get off one foot and get behind the setter, and you know she can jump and do some things. So, offensively, um, she's a real similar player that way. What is the red black scrimmage? What kind of different looks does that give you compared to, you know, a, a competitive practice where they're playing, or even a scrimmage against another school? Yeah, I think anytime you're in the arena, you got people in the stands, and it's a game day simulation. You know, it, it takes on a whole different vibe, and that's what the players are all about. You know, we'll, we'll put us through; it'll be as close to a home match as we can make it. And, uh, and they'll be ready to play. They're going to have a whole different intensity to them. And kind of like I was asking the players, what, what is it about you? Obviously, you put coaches on either side, but how long do they have to scout the other team and to make it where you're actually like facing another team? Well, we hadn't gotten to uh, put the teams together yet. We're, we're working on that over the next couple of days. But, you know, I think we know each other well enough. We can probably figure it out in about five minutes. But, uh, yeah, it'll be fun, though. With this kind of scrimmage atmosphere, how much do you – do you think Brooke will play? Do you think you'll, you'll be cautious with that? Just I know it's, it's a kind yeah. of a minor injury, but it's not even testing it at all. Well, she needs reps. She needs to get on the court. We want her to be ready for next week for sure, and so the sooner we can get her back, the better. Um, but, you know, but we're also going to be smart about it and not force her into something. But you know, it's an ankle sprain. Every volleyball player has played with one before, and uh, it's just nice that it's happening during preseason when we don't have to have her. But... You know, when, when you're a hitter and you know you've got a big part of the team, you want to be on the court and you want to get your reps and get that connection going. So if we can get her on Saturday, we're going to play her, but we're going to be pretty cautious about just, you know, seeing where she's at and not pushing her too far. 
outside of Caitlin, who are the other people we could maybe see get reps if she isn't able to go? Well, you, you know, Caitlin was the big one. You know, Hannah Allison has also kind of come on and, and done a really nice job and created a bigger role for herself. Uh, Kylie Treflick is one of our freshmen who looks really good in the gym. And, you know, just the depth of those pins with the new players. And then you, you have players who have been around a while with uh, Haley Harmon and Haley Killinger. So we, we've got plenty of bodies out there, and, and they're all doing a nice job in practice. Dugan has kind of separated herself, I would say, you know, and, and she's just really shown that she's ready. But, um, you know, we've still got Chandler out there, too, who's, who's a senior and can play either side. So, you know, we've got plenty of options. What are your plans for the scrimmage with your coaching staff? Are you yeah. going to be on one side and everybody else on the other? Or are you going to be yeah. kind of going between That's the two? That's a good question. I'm not 100% sure yet. You know, that we're going to put, put our teams together. Um, I like to be around both sides and just kind of see what everybody's doing. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm not limiting myself right now. Yeah. Um, what did you? What did your girls take most out of the, the scrimmage on front, uh, on Sunday? Yeah, we looked good. I, I was real happy with how we started. Uh, the energy was there. Um, Kirby ran a great offense. We got off to a hot start every time that she was out there. Uh, I, I was really, really impressed. And uh, our ball control was sharp. We, we were in system all the time. So I really liked how we looked. And, you know, we definitely have things to take from that that we need to get better at. And that's where our focus has been right now in the gym this week. But overall for being out for one week and now we're playing against another team I, I was really happy out with alex whenever you have someone coming in who is new running the offense where do you balance kind of having her run whatever's comfortable to her with you know other players and, and their tendencies and meshing yeah. it kind of all together well that's just a work in progress all the time every every hitter likes a ball a certain way and they're good or bad at different things and and setters you know have different ways that they like to do it but you know the setter is supposed to kind of adapt to what the hitter wants and that's kind of her job to just fill that role and just give a, a great ball for whoever she's setting and so you know she's done a lot of work to to really learn what you know what Emily likes what Brooke likes what KJ likes that Allison likes and so on and uh, and then you know we've been putting so much of, of an emphasis on speeding up this this spring that that was another thing on her plate too so I, I've been really happy with with Alex she's a great setter terrific hands uh, very smart and she knows how to apply a game plan so uh, we're in good shape was Katie Boyer a nice surprise uh, in the scrimmage? Because I like the time that yeah. she's kind of dominant in the middle. Well, yeah, she's got all the tools that you're looking for. You know, she's got size and length. She's got a big arm. And um, and she, she's, she can work a point. So, you know, she's got a lot of, of bright things to look forward to as well. And, and I think she's going to have a pretty nice role on this team right now. But it was good. You know, we got her as an early grad. And so we had all spring with her. And then she got to go to Europe with us. And, you know, you can see day by day she, she's got everything we're looking for. Yeah.